Hey, what's up? I come IC9700 users and Ham Radio Deluxe uh, users. We're going to do a short tutorial for you on uh, how to work the satellites with Ham Radio Deluxe and an IC9700. Uh, they came out just recently with the new Ham Radio Deluxe version that includes the 9700. Uh, which is a great uh, advance forward as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I was using the uh, ICOM 9100 parameters and it kept crashing. But that's beside the point. What I want to do now is tell you guys how uh, this is done because I've worked weeks and weeks and weeks trying to figure this out and the light has finally come on. I finally figured out the missing link that I was having so much trouble trying to find. Uh, so, like I say, you can either do it manually or you can use the Ham Radio Deluxe program as it was designed to be used uh, for automatic frequency and Doppler control and that's what we're going to uh, touch on today. So, um, I'm going to give my secret away right away. Uh, and then we'll get into uh, basically uh, how the program works on the computer and then uh, uh, do some actual satellite contacts uh, uh, showing the radio and uh, the audio uh, from the contacts. Uh, but my secret, <laughs> it's, a, it's a really simple thing and I didn't, uh, didn't really think about it, but uh, with the automatic Doppler shift working and changing frequencies, changing frequencies all the time uh, to track the Doppler, uh, it was really hard to uh, tune in the person because every time you got it tuned in then the automatic frequency correction would get you off frequency again and uh, it, was, it was so hard. So what I finally discovered, the light finally came on I took the, uh, uh, I, I turned on the RIT, and we'll show you this uh, 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 later in the video uh, when we're working the radio, but I, I just simply turned the RIT on, and then once I had the RIT on, then I initiate the uh, program, and uh, it starts tracking frequency, changing frequencies for Doppler shift. Uh, continuously changing frequencies for both uh, transmit and receive and uh, uh, but I can turn when I hear somebody in there I can turn the RIT knob and I can tune them in and I can keep turning the RIT knob and keep them tuned in while the transmit and receive frequency is uh, uh, continually doing its own thing automatically and uh, this has just been a revolution uh, for me. Like I say, the light has just come on and all of a sudden things are starting to come together. So that uh, that's where we're going from here. I know this was kind of a long intro, but uh, I kind of wanted to let you know how, how things have uh, progressed uh, for me over the last, well I've had this radio for the last uh, two months at least, two or three months now, and uh, been working diligently with the satellites trying to get everything to mesh and uh, uh, they just wouldn't quite mesh. They were bouncing off. I'd do a little bit and I'd be successful and then I'd uh, try a little something else and it was not successful and, and uh, everything has finally come together. Uh, so that has prompted me now to make this video uh, which doesn't exist yet on YouTube. Uh, so hopefully it'll help a lot of you guys. So. That's where we're at. We're going to go over here to the computer and uh, we're going to show you uh, basically how uh, Ham Radio Deluxe works for the satellites and then once we're done with the uh, little bit of uh, computer uh, uh, tutorial on how it works then we're going to switch over to the radio and we're going to make some actual contacts and you'll be able to hear the, uh, the uh, exchange, the audio exchange. So. Let's get into it. Let's look at uh, Ham Radio Deluxe and see uh, how that works with satellites. 
So, so this is the way I've got the Ham Radio Deluxe configured for the satellite. This is the satellite pane here. And uh, as you can see, I've, I've added the uh, satellites that I work. We've got AO7 here, AO91, and AO92 for the uh, FM satellites. And uh, uh, the linear sideband satellites XW2A, XW2B, XW2F, uh, SO50 is another FM bird, uh, and then the uh, CAS4A and CAS4B, and uh, FO29 is non-functional right now. But uh, <clears throat> basically what, uh, what you see here is you've got the footprint of the satellite right now we're waiting for uh, x-ray whiskey 2 alpha to come by right now they're down here uh, just uh, west of south america and they're going to be coming from the south going north uh, and uh, here's my qth right here and their footprint is going to so x-ray whiskey 2 alpha is coming over in about uh, uh, 17 minutes that's going to be this pass right here However, that is so low that I'm not going to be able to work it. Here's, this is 0 degrees, 20 degrees, 40 degrees, 60, 80, and then 90 degrees is directly overhead. So this one's going to not, to, not, not work. However, there's another one coming over at about 8 o'clock tonight. And this one, as you can see, is uh, about uh, 75 degrees. It is going to be a nice pass. And uh, uh, as the satellite arrives, it's going to come up the, the uh, curve here. And uh, I can't usually hear anything uh, below 20 degrees, but as soon as it hits the 20 degree mark right here, then I can start working it. And I can work it as it goes all the way up here and then uh, all the way back down. Then when it hits 20 degrees again, uh, then I pretty much lose the satellite. So this is going to be our next, uh, our next uh, uh, attempt at working the uh, X-Ray Whiskey 2 Alpha linear satellite. So, uh, if you look up here, this shows the acquisition of the satellite. This is when the satellite's going to come, uh, its next pass. And it's 16 minutes from now, and that's that really crummy low pass that's only going to be about 5 or 10 degrees above the horizon. But that's what this shows, acquisition of signal in 16 minutes and 24 seconds. So whatever satellite you're hoping to walk, work, that'll tell you exactly when uh, you need to get down there and uh, start your radio going. So this is, how you, uh, this is how you configure the satellite pane. To get these uh, uh, satellite passes to show up along the bottom of the screen, what you'll need to do is go to right up here so you'll go to next passes and uh, you'll just click on wherever you want them to dock to I like to dock them at the bottom so I just click here and it docks them at the bottom if you want to dock it at the top it'll dock it at the top but uh, I like it on the bottom you can do it on the right side too if you want to put it over to the right side uh, but uh, I do like it on the on the uh, on the bottom so we'll put it back there and uh, so then if you want to see the uh, digital readout of your radio you want to click on tuning dial you want to click on the tuning dial which is over here Yeah, you want to click on the on the tuning dial if you want to see the digital readout from your radio. And uh, you just click right there. You turn it off, turn it on, and I always keep it on. And uh, then if you want to do the, um, if you want to have Ham Radio Deluxe automatically track your Doppler, 
uh, you click all three of these boxes. Uh, by clicking the manual tuning box, that allows you to actually touch the VFO and make a manual tune with your VFO. Uh, and then you click also RX and TX. And uh, when you click the RX and TX, then your uh, Doppler transmit and receive will be tracked uh, by your radio. It'll, tra it'll change the frequencies of your radio as, uh, as it's working. So as uh, you can see these frequencies changing right here, uh, I can assure you to my right, my radio right now is uh, actually changing frequency uh, just as it shows right here. So that's a really cool effect. So, so one other thing that you need to do, uh, if your frequencies do not show up here when you've created your uh, satellite tabs, uh, you just click on the frequency button here and uh, you go to uh, amsat.org uh, or just about any place you uh, have listings of satellites and their frequencies and uh, you can manually put in the, uh, uh, the uplink and the uh, downlink and uh, then just click OK and uh, you're off and running. Your frequencies will be in there and uh, for the sideband uh, linear satellites you click linear transponder and, uh, and if you want to put a comment in there that's just fine. But uh, that's one other item that uh, you can do if uh, if the uh, frequencies don't show up here already. Okay. Then if you click on satellite definitions, you'll see the definitions panel come up here. And we'll zoom out a little bit here. And you will be able to, be able to see uh, a large quantity of satellites and the ones that I have checked uh, for in inclusion in my satellite program here. So uh, you click on satellite definitions and you check every one of those that you want to uh, use. And you can scroll through them and there's gobs of them. Uh, you don't want to check them all, it'll just overwhelm your system. But uh, I've got the X-ray Whiskey satellites checked. Uh, those are my favorites. And then the CAS satellites uh, I also have checked. The CAS 4A and, and uh, 4B, they are right here, CAS 4A and 4B. And then I've got a few of the uh, FM sats checked also. But that's where you go to uh, uh, add the satellites to your new satellite uh, uh, tab. So the way you add a satellite to the, uh, to the tabs up here, uh, you'll go into New Satellite, and it'll list uh, the amateur radio satellites, and uh, you just put an X mark or a check mark uh, next to the satellites that you want to view on the tabs up there, and uh, that's how uh, that's how you get them into a tab. Just click on the New Satellites tab. And then another thing you want to configure is the, uh, you click on the show tab here. And uh, the only one I have checked here uh, is uh, AOS in the toolbar. And that, uh, that brings up this acquisition of signals. So it'll always tell you uh, when, how many minutes, how many hours, minutes, and seconds there is until the satellite that you're looking at will be above you or as uh, visible. Satellite, X-ray, Whiskey, 2, Alpha, will be visible in two minutes. And then, of course, as you heard, it does have an uh, audible warning, a two-minute warning and a one-minute warning, which is uh, very helpful as well. Next, the next thing you'll want to uh, do is uh, click on Radio Pane 
when you click on the radio pane, then that'll show you uh, the uh, controls for your radio. And uh, I'm using the IC9700, and uh, it's showing that uh, VFOA right now is tuned to 145.735. And then as you can see, when you click on uh, the RX button uh, for the Doppler shift, it starts automatically tuning the radio. And you can see that the radio is uh, uh, changing frequency here right now uh, with the automatic Doppler shift correction that Ham Radio Deluxe provides. And then you can turn it off just by clicking, uh, unclicking the, the uh, radio box, not radio, by unclicking the box. And as you can see, like I was saying earlier, this particular pass is a real, really low pass, and it's just barely outside or inside the footprint. But you can see its path here going from south to north along the uh, outside of the uh, reception circle. Your QTH is right at the center of the uh, target here, and uh, it shows the ek or the uh, plus sign shows. The location of the satellite on your uh, on your compass screen there. So as it advances, this plus will continue right on up the green arrows, and uh, the next satellite it'll be uh, it'll be uh, uh, the green arrows will be right in the center. It'll be coming across uh, uh, from the center, and you'll be able to follow that with your uh, antenna and rotor. But uh, right now that one is just a very marginal satellite. This is uh, uh, all just for demo sake for the uh, upcoming satellite we're waiting for. Is the way it works. Ham Radio Deluxe automatic Doppler shift correction and using the RIT to tune the signal in and uh, it's working really well now. This is this is the light bulb aha moment for me. Uh, just found out yesterday how this worked. I was having such a terrible time trying to get uh, everybody tuned in. I'd keep trying with the big VFO knob and changing frequency and I could always hear myself and I could always keep myself tuned in but I could never, I very rarely could ever get anybody else continued to, to continue to tune in to me. They would fall. They could if they followed me uh, with their expertise. I could make a contact, but I could never do it with them. But uh, the secret, the secret for Ham Radio Deluxe and their automatic Doppler shift is activating the RIT and tuning with the RIT and allowing the automatic Doppler shift to shift the frequency the way it's supposed to, and uh, everything is okay. Outstanding. That was a good contact. So here we are. It's getting closer. Got uh, five minutes left before it uh, hits the acquisition of signal. So it should be a pretty good pass. Looking around here. Four minutes and 41 seconds. Whiskey 2 Alpha will be visible in two minutes. Okay, so this is the ICOM IC9700, and uh, we're, we've got a program in the memory for X ray Whiskey 2 Alpha. Its received frequency is 145.670, and its transmit frequency is 145.045. And we have a waterfall here that we're going to make a little more friendly for us so we can see the signal. There we go. And all we've got to do now is uh, stand by. We're about one minute out, but uh, it's still going to be a little while because we still have to wait for it to get above 20 Satellite. degrees. 
X-ray, Whiskey, 2, Alpha, will be visible in one minute. So, now, coming back around here. We're going to see, uh, as soon as it becomes uh, uh, visible, in 20 seconds or so, the uh, red will turn to green, and that'll show the visibility. That, uh, there it goes. So, it's saying now, six seconds, and it'll be visible. Satellite, X-ray, Whiskey, 2, Alpha, is visible. Okay, now you can see the X where the satellite is right down here. It's just entered our just entered our horizon. So it's going to follow that green line all the way up to the north. And uh, we're going to follow it with our uh, elk four element uh, antenna with the Radio Shack rotor. So, coming back to the, uh, or, oh yeah, here's, uh, here's the footprint. And as you can see now, it has uh, entered, here's our QTH right here, and uh, it's just barely visible, but we're still not to the uh, not to the 20 degree height yet. But if we were up on a mountain, or if we were in the Great Plains, and we had a long horizon, we'd probably be able to work it right about now. But uh, unfortunately, uh, we've got we're in a valley, and we've got lots of mountains around us. So anyhow, you start looking down here, and as I told you before, the uh, here's the 20 degree mark, here's the dotted line as the satellite is moving, and uh, it's gradually moving along, and when this uh, dotted line gets up to the 20 degree mark, then uh, uh, it's possible to start hearing it. Coming from the south like it is, most probably we're Probably we're going to start hearing it right about here, probably around 25 to 30 degrees. But uh, I've heard them plenty of times at the 20 degree mark. So as you can see, that uh, that's moving. So I'm going to get my earphones on. Actually, I don't think I will put my earphones on this time because I want uh, the audio to uh, to be audible. So. We're going to switch back around now to the uh, to the radio. So here we are on the uh, <coughs> the satellite menu, and uh, I have pre-programmed, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the different satellites. This one is showing uh, the way you change that is uh, X-ray Whiskey Two Alpha. That's the one coming over. Now the biggest thing that uh, I have uh, struggled with is when I put the Ham Radio Deluxe into automatic Doppler correction and it starts changing the frequencies, I've had a hard time following the people that I'm talking to and they've had a hard time following me. And I keep turning the VFO knob and turning the VFO knob and it, uh, everybody's just chasing everybody. So I just discovered something uh, actually yesterday that, uh, or the day before that I think may be the answer, my long sought answer uh, to this dilemma. So what I did with success the last couple of times was to put the program into automatic Doppler 
and have it start to go well actually first of all what you need to do before you start the automatic Doppler uh, frequency changing you need to put the put the turn the rent on that needs to be on before you start the uh, automatic Doppler shift then when you connect let's see here I'll enable uh, RX and TX and then you see that uh, going there changing frequencies automatically for Doppler shift and then it keeps it constant and people can use their program to keep it constant with you but when you need to tune you just tune the the writ and you can see the writ changing there as I uh, as I tune and uh, that's how I have finally discovered to uh, be able to tune those people in and have a uh, relatively long conversation with them. So I think it was something that simple and I've been struggling ever since I got the 9700 uh, uh, trying to figure out how to make this automatic Doppler shift feature, which is a great feature, how to make it work. I just couldn't make it work and I think it may be something as simple as just simply letting it take control, do its thing, and uh, tune with your writ to the uh, person you're talking to. And you'll have to change it a little bit as it's uh, going along. But uh, I, <laughs> I think that's it. Okay, this is satellite Charlie Alpha Sierra dash 4 Alpha CAS 4A. It's going to be arriving in the west. It has already arrived. Uh, we're getting real close to the 20 degree mark right now. It'll be uh, flying from uh, west to east, just about due west to due east. Uh, so it'll be an easy satellite or an easy antenna track. Uh, be pointed west until it's directly over and then we'll switch over to east. We won't have to change the antenna but only once and that's for a 180 degree switch from west to east. So, it's approaching 20 degrees right now. Let's see if we can hear anything. See if we can hear us on the satellite with a whistle. Don't see anything yet, but let's get our uh, automatic Doppler set tracking. There we go. We have our RIT ready to go at 0.00. .00. And let's see, let's try it again, see if we can hear ourselves. Well, there we go. CQ satellite, CQ satellite, November 7, Romeo, Bravo, Papa, calling CQ satellite, CQ satellite. November 7, Romeo, Bravo, Papa, calling CQ sat, CQ sat. November 7, Romeo, Bravo, Papa, Charlie, November 82, over. November X-ray Romeo Golf. November X-ray Romeo Golf. One more time, please. November X-ray Six Romeo Golf. Thank you for the contact. We're in Charlie November eighty-two. Over. Roger, Roger. Handle is Bob. Roger, Roger. Thank you for the contact. Thank you for the contact. Getting sketchy. CQ Sat, CQ Sat, November 7, Romeo Bravo, Papa, calling CQ Satellite, CQ Satellite, November 7, Romeo Bravo, Papa, Charlie, November 82. Whiskey 7 Sierra X-Ray Mexico, Whiskey 7 X-Ray Mexico, November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, Charlie November 82, Handle is Bob, Bravo Oscar Bravo, over. He 
Yeah, I'm doing a video. I'm trying to do an uh, instructional video for uh, YouTube on how to use Ham Radio Deluxe. So I'm having to not use my headphones and I'm getting a little feedback over. Okay, Ward. Okay, you're fading out. Uh, looks like we're getting down to my 20 degree mark, and once we're past my 20 degree mark, I'm going to lose everything. And it, it's just about at 20 degrees now. So thank you for the contact. Appreciate it, and uh, hope to catch you on the birds again. This is M7 RBP, Medford, Oregon, or QRT. Seventy threes. Okay, we're down to twenty degrees. Okay, I guess we lost you there. My, uh, I forgot to turn my rotor over. All right, well you're fine now. Uh, did you copy my last transmission? Negative. Negative. Okay, well, I said your signal sounds fine, you're good. Uh, you remember you have, you have more gain into the satellite the closer it is overhead, less gain as the satellite goes toward the horizon. So if you put your antenna down, it might have your job. Uh, did you copy, Bob? Yeah, yeah, Roger. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's, a, it's a fixed, uh, it's kind of a Mickey Mouse thing. I'm just getting started with the uh, 9700 and satellites, and uh, uh, my antenna system needs a lot to be desired. I uh, seriously been thinking about the uh, uh, egg beaters over. All right, uh, for the uh, Yesu G 5500 uh, is what I use and I recommend it. Did you speak with Carlos W7QL? Roger, Roger. He sent me his Doppler file, and uh, I incorporated it into uh, PC Sat uh, with uh, no success. Uh, I'm able to work PC Sat on uh, the default satellites, but I can't bring any others in. Okay. Well, that's uh, uh, okay. Well, I understand you're uh, you're sounding good on HRD. Uh, Sat PC32 is. Uh, uh, HRT, but at earlier versions, uh, earlier versions, so, uh, they talk, I know I talked to the man who, uh, operates HRT these days, he's got a lot of, uh, additions, so, um, uh, perhaps, uh, your assessment for the company, please, send me a thing, Roger, Roger, Roger. Okay. We're losing you, so uh, we'll say 73s. I uh, can't usually work anything below 20 degrees, and uh, we're right at 20 degrees now, and you're getting pretty weak. So thank you for the QSO. We'll talk to you again, hopefully, in the next pass or two. November 7, Romeo Bravo Papas, QRT, 73s. CQ Zach, CQ Zach, November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, Charlie, November 82. CQ Zach, CQ Zach, November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, Charlie, November 82. Kilo Alpha 6 something, you're very light, very light. Try it once again. Kilo Alpha 6, Charlie Uniform Mike, is that a Roger?
Kilo Alpha 6 uniform. Roger, Roger, got that. November 7, Romeo, Bravo, Papa, Charlie, November 82, over. CQ Sat, CQ Sat, November 7, Romeo, Bravo, Papa, Charlie, November 82. CQ Sat, CQ Sat, November 7, Romeo, Bravo, Papa, Charlie, November 82. CQ Satellite, CQ Satellite, November 7, Romeo, Bravo, Papa, Charlie, November 82. Station call in November 7, Romeo, Bravo, Papa, try again. November 7, Uniform Alpha. November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa. Roger, Roger. Thank you for the contact. Thank you for the contact. Have a great, uh, have a great pass. 73. CQ Satellite, CQ Satellite, November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, CQ Sat. November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, Whiskey Alpha 6, Romeo Lima Romeo. Whiskey Alpha 6, Romeo Lima Romeo, thank you for the contact. Handle Bob, Bravo Oscar Bravo, and we're in Charlie November 82, over. Charlie November 82, Bob, we're at Delta Mike 13, main here is Doug, Delta Oscar Uniform George. Okay, Doug, very good. Sounds great. We're 5 9 going to uh, Medford, Oregon this morning. Oh, that's good to hear. I was wondering how well I was going up that direction. This is not the greatest path for me, Bob, but it must be doing well for you. It's almost overhead, though. No? Yeah, Roger, it's right overhead. It's about 85 degrees, and it couldn't hardly be better, Oh, that's the greatest. That's the greatest. What are you running? Uh, 9,700. I see 9,700, and uh, uh, just a uh, elk. Uh, long periodic for on my over. Oh, that's great, Bob. Yeah, I got the 9700. I have to say, <laughs> I usually get these great audio reports out of this rig. How about you? Oh, your audio is excellent. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I'm getting good reports, and uh, I, I'm so happy with this rig, I could cry over. Uh, you start. I'm starting to lose you, Doug. What was that question? Oh, I'm sorry, Doug. I'm sorry we lost you. You're uh, you're out of it. Over. Sorry about that, Doug. November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa calling CQ Satellite, CQ Satellite. Whiskey Uniform Kilowatt, uh, once again, you're kind of like, try again. Whiskey India 6 Kilowatt, is that a Roger? Okay, you're very light and you're falling out as well. It's just at the last, last part of the pass for me, so we'll log you in. November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, Charlie, November 82. Roger, Roger, thank you for the contact, 73. CQ Sat, CQ Sat, November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, calling CQ Satellite, Charlie November 82. Uh, M7 uh, RQB, Whiskey 7, Quebec Lima. Whiskey 7, Quebec Lima, November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, Charlie November 82, over.
Yeah, it's working real well. Icom 9700, uh, four element elk, log periodic, over. Okay, very good. Did you end up using uh, my Doppler.sqs that I sent you? No, I can't get it to work, Carlos. I just can't. Uh, uh, Ham Radio Deluxe seems to be the, uh, the, the software for me, over. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, I have a, an HR device. But uh, I've never really used I've tried it a couple of times and it's always had problems. So maybe one of these days I'll give it another try. try it. Well, I would really like to try PaxAT32. I mean, I have tried it and I do like it uh, in the satellites that it does work, but I can't get other satellites into it. Really. That's so strange. Did you uh, try reloading yet, Bob? Yep, I downloaded uh, and uh, uh, registered and I can't seem to get it going. Well, maybe during the coming weeks we can get on the phone uh, if, you, if you want to try it and uh, see what we can do. I'd appreciate that, Carlos. You're, uh, uh, I really appreciate your uh, reaching out to help me on this. So uh, we'll be giving you a call soon. Over. Okay, very good. Well, I'm going to stay 73 and see if I can find that uh, station that's in the rear grid down uh, in Florida. Okay. Roger, Roger. Thanks for the shout. N7RBP. CQ Satellite, CQ Satellite, November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, calling CQ Satellite, CQ Satellite. WA6RLR, November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, Charlie November 82, handle is Bob, Bravo Oscar Bravo, over. Long time no talk, Bob, yeah, we're down here at Delta Mike 1-3, name is Doug, Delta Oscar, uniform, George. Oh, okay. What was the question you wanted to ask me, Doug? I, I lost you on the last pass. Yeah, no, it's not a question. I was wondering, are you running HRD? Once again, you're starting to fade again. Hurry up. All right. Are you running HRD? Yes, yes. Roger, Roger, Roger. Running HRD. Over. Okay, Doug. Give me an email. You're starting to feed a fade out. I'm good. Uh, my email's good on QRZ. Over. Okay, I just couldn't quite catch that, Doug. We're again. We're on the back end of the pass here. Over. Okay, I'm down to 20 degrees, and that's about as far as I can go. So 73s, we'll uh, we'll uh, catch you on email. And seven RDPs, QRT. CQ Sat, CQ Sat, November seven, Romeo Bravo, Papa, Charlie November eighty two. Whiskey Alpha 6, Delta November Radio, the call again is November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, Charlie November 82, over. Okay, very good, I have you here, and um, is it Rob or, uh, is it Bob or Robert? No, I go by Bob, Bravo Oscar Bravo, running an IC 9700 and a uh, L-Club periodic 4 element uh, uh, radio shack loader, over. Very good. Uh, I'm the first time I talked to you last week, and I had you speak with uh, Carlos W7QL. You sound pretty solid today. Oh, yeah, Roger. Roger. 
I uh, am starting to get the hang of this hand radio deluxe. Uh, it, it really gave me problems for a while, but uh, I think the light has come on. All right, very good. So you're using HRD for your uh, Doppler frequency control as well as um, your rotor control, etc. Uh, Doppler only. I don't have. Uh, uh, I'm doing a manual. Uh, Manual rotor control. Over. Okay, that's fine. And are you doing uh, on your rotor con rotor control as well, or just uh, as a method only? Uh, I'm just using Ham Radio Deluxe for Doppler only. Now, in the manual rotor control, it's just a cheap Radio Shack rotor rotor. Okay, so the Radio Shack rotor just tunes for azimuth only uh, for elevation, right? Exactly, yeah. It's a, it's a static elevation. Elevation is static at about uh, uh, 50 or 60 degrees over. So, uh, you have less gain at the